Hello and welcome to today's video. So this time we're going to be taking a look at the first two releases for the brand new Corgi Model Club. Now these are fantastic exact copies of original 50s, 60s, 70s uh, Corgi diecasts, which have been re-released for a modern audience and they are fantastic. So I've got the first two to share with you today and I think you're really going to enjoy looking at them. So sit back, relax and let's get to it. Okay then, so we'll start with the uh, the Walls ice cream van. And this is exactly how I received mine. And I was really delighted to see that they made this original sort of pre-release version available again to collectors who were just starting the series. Because I this completely missed me by and I was gutted to see um, that I'd missed the original ice cream van. So as you unpack some of the uh, the different elements there. I'll just read you a little bit about what it says about this Walls Ford Thames ice cream van, which is Corgi 474. And this is the musical version. So it says this much loved musical version of Corgi's Walls Ford Thames ice cream van was initially produced in October 1965. Given the model number 474, it was launched just six months after an earlier edition number 447, which had admitted the iconic five-note chimes. The additional production cost of including the musical movement resulted in 447's child and ice cream seller figures not being included. Instead, Corgi created a new box design, complete with an illustrative insert card depicting expectant ice cream buyers queuing for their walls ice cream or lolly. Cuts in this card allow it to be slotted into the open window of the ice cream van model to create a mini diorama. Excellent stuff. Now, uh, the club itself has been going just over a year now. So you can see they've got the plans all the way up to number 14, which is the mini traveler with the surfer, the surfboard on top. But this is what you actually got in this sort of starter set. So you've got the booklet, the figures, the classic Corgi badge, the metal tin to store all your certificates in, and of course, the original diecast toy. This is my figure set. Now mine weren't actually in that snugly and I see it was because the figure on the end was sort of, his hand was tucked behind the other um, the other guy there and needed to be sort of swapped around the other way. And then the box lid could shut properly. Like so. But those are good figures. So my intention with these, because um, I'm definitely going to continue collecting them, is to get a little dedicated uh, cabinet from somewhere like Ikea. And um, I'm going to put the whole lot out on display and I'll add a few of my original Corgi models to it as well over time. Now this was lovely to see. It's the uh, nice uh, Corgi booklet. 1966 the product catalogue what a year that was not least of which with the Goldfinger DB5 on the front and uh, great news is that line that car has been re-released as part of this line now I cannot recommend enough if you've got access to Facebook of checking out the Corgi Model Club online on their Facebook page because it's very responsive. You can talk to other collectors um, if you've got any sort of problem with payment or you know if you want to speed up your deliveries, you can do. So I'm going to try and do two deliveries a month to sort of catch until I've caught up to date. So in this video, you'll see both the two starter cars or models. Um, which were both £9.99 each with £4 postage. So these are available. Once again, all the details are on the Corgi Model Club Facebook page. And I uh, think these first two represent excellent value for money. So 
talking about the boxes then i mean they're obviously fantastic the artwork is beautiful they're very much nostalgic one of the funny things about it, of course they're made with modern techniques so the cardboard isn't quite as thick as maybe an original box and that bottom with the uh, the barcode on and sort of you know made in china rather than made in the uk it's just I suppose it is what it is. It is a sign of the times. I always use a little flathead screwdriver just to open up the box edges on these because if you're not careful, you know, with my big fingers, I would just break those boxes. So that's how I just sort of delicately get into them without causing too much damage. Now, superbly packed inside. So you've got a little bit of foam there just to stop the model um, bouncing around inside the box and also to protect the uh, the wind up um, musical mechanism on the back and just like a classic toy lots of bits and pieces inside um, so there we are as you can see the card's just a little bit thinner than I particularly would like I'd like that bit maybe thicker stock um, that inner bit there though does sort of combat that and keeps the box a bit more sturdy um, there's that fold out bit of cardboard which is used for the diorama there's a few ways to do it you can have it stood up you can just have the models just sat on top of it as a bit of a backdrop a few stickers as well if you want to pop them onto your uh, model a little explanation there a little reaper of where all the bits and pieces are supposed to go the model itself very very nice nice and weighty in the hand I wish I had an original so we could actually compare the weight but they don't feel cheap they, they've got a real nice bit of weight, weight to them um, if you push them down there's a little bit of wear on the suspension a little give here's the slightly basic wind-up sound <laughs> Very, very nice. Great, a really good one to start the series, that. It's got the sliding windows there. And then you could just display it like that, give it a little bit of color to it, and then have it sat on the box. I don't know, when I get them out on display in the uh, in the display case I'll uh, have a little play around with it but that's traditionally how I would display my Corgi diecast and there we are so that's a really nice pack for 9.99 I mean it really is that's a great so that was like the pre-release as a tester now just a pause there just to thank my patreon and channel member supporters thank you very much for your support uh, it's very much appreciated So the one that I first saw being advertised was the uh, the classic 1967 Monte Carlo winner BMC Mini Cooper. And this is Corgi 339. And I've always loved the minis. I used, I used to have a classic mini. Just love the design of them. And uh, Corgi did quite a few variations. So I'm delighted to see the Mini Traveler has been announced now with the, uh, the Surfer figure. So it says, issued to celebrate the Mini Cooper's famous win at the 1967 Monte Carlo Rally. This iconic model was based on a slightly earlier Corgi, number 333, a similar rally car, but in an RAC Sun Racing livery. This new version was given the previous model's extended rally sump guard, but added a Monte Carlo rally plate and a detailed silver roof rack, complete with two spare wheels. Sporting replica number plates and authentic rally numbers to match the actual car that was driven to victory in 1967 by René Atlan and Henry Lydon, the look is completed by four yellow jeweled headlights and a Monte Carlo rally decal on the boot. It originally remained in the Corgi range until 1972. So that was some, some seller, wasn't it? A 
that's an absolutely love uh, corgi minis I really really do this and there's quite a few to collect if you want to just specialize in the minis I like them in the bubble cars as well which I'm also hoping corgi do uh, the corgi model club release a, a Heinkel bubble car down the line predominantly though it's more of the TV and movie times but I understand the issues they've got with uh, uh, copyright it says a little bit about the uh, the, the car, the Mini Cooper, the Monte Carlo winner. You get the same freebies that you got uh, in the previous one. So you get the pack of figures, you get the 1966 catalogue, um, and of course this, the certificate. You don't get the Corgi model badge. So, uh, as I'm sure, like me, you're going to want to get both bits. You'll get the ice cream van as well. So you'll have a few doubles of a couple of bits and pieces. Very, very nice though. So as I said, do please check out the Corgi Model Club page on Facebook. It's exceptional. Um, it's really well maintained. And um, you know, there's quite a lively community growing on there. So I think it's something to be encouraged. So I certainly intend to get, once I've got the next two in my possession, I shall review those and, and sort of unbox them and show them on the channel. And if I've got my display case in place by then, I shall uh, show you what mine are starting to look like. If you've enjoyed this video, do please check out some of the other ones on my channel now. Do please consider subscribing for regular vintage toy content. And I shall look forward to seeing you again with another video very soon. <laughs>